Hi everyone! In this video, we're going to learn about a special diagram that illustrates some important characteristics of a distribution. This diagram is called box plot. So let me explain how it's constructed. Here I have some arbitrary dot plot that represents a given data set. So this data set has 24 observations. That's why I can see 24 dots. By the way, the fact that it's a dot plot, it means that all those values are ordered, right? Because that's supposed to be a number line. So if I take this data set and split it into four parts, such that each represents 25 or about 25% of all observations. Then these values here and here and here that separate parts are going to have special names in statistics. The first one that separates the first 25%, so 25% here, 75% to the right, is called first quartile, or in short, Q1. The next one will be second quartile, or Q2. And you may guess it's going to be third quartile right here, or Q3. And they're called quartiles because, well, we took our data set and separated it into four parts. So in other words, quarters. I'd like to go back to the second quartile. What is the other name for this value? Well, this is the value such that 50% of other data values are below it and 50% are above it. So it's right at the center. So what is the name of this value? It's median. So Q1, Q2, and Q3 will be used to construct a box plot, but there are two more values that I need. I need the minimum value or the smallest value of the data set. Well, this one is not that hard to find right here. Minimum value. And I will need the maximum value. It's right here on the right. And now with these five values or five numbers, I'm ready to construct a box plot. As you can guess from the name, box plot will have a box. This is how the box is constructed. That's pretty much a rectangle that starts at Q1 and stretches all the way to Q3. So in other words, it indicates how spread out data values between Q1 and Q3. But we're also going to put a vertical line where Q2 is, or where the median is, right here. So it also indicates the position of the median, which is Q2. Okay, and then outside of the box, we're going to draw lines, they're called whiskers in statistics, that will stretch to the maximum and minimum values. I have to make a note here that there are some exceptions to that, and they happen when uh, the data set has outliers. We're going to talk about that in the next video. With no outliers, the whiskers, those lines on the left and on the right, are again stretching to the maximum and minimum value. So here we'll have minimum value. This is Q1, right here Q2 or median, Q3 and then maximum value. And the length of the bot is called interquartile range. And it's pretty much measures the spread of the middle 50% of observations. Remember, each portion of the box plot represents 25%, so that would be the middle 50%, IQR. Let me write this down. Okay, so interquartile range, IQR, measures the spread of the middle 50% of observations from Q1 to Q3. And in fact, we can calculate what it equals to. So to find IQR, as with the range, you take the rightmost value, which is Q3, and subtract the leftmost value, Q1. So to find IQR, you compute this dif difference, Q3 minus Q1. 
At the end of this video, I'd like to make a note that the dot plot that I use here is just for illustration how the data set is related to the box plot. But when you graph a box plot, you don't, you don't draw the dot plot. So you basically only have a number line and a box plot right above it. So we're going to do an example in the next videos um, and you'll see how box plot is constructed from scratch.